As you can tell, you wonder why this video is made. Well, the reason for it is twofold. One, because, well, I don't know if you guys want me to do a playthrough of Monster Hunter Rise. And two, the last time I did this, the last time I did any Monster Hunter related content on YouTube, aside from my streams, well, nobody seemed to care. Well, there is no choice on it now. I would normally be on my day off trying to render the rest of Crash 4, which you guys are going to be seeing over the weekend, so that way Saturday and Sunday is devoted to Persona 5 Strikers. So, I'd rather do this video to show it off, because there probably won't be streams of Monster Hunter World for a while. Unless necessary. Why is that? This game. Welcome to Monster Hunter Rise! And this is something I always want to play. But if you want to see me do coverage of the game, all you have to do is let me know. That's it. Yep. Data providing for satirical purposes. Privacy policy. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Auto-saving. Just like old times. Welcome to Monster Hunter Rise. A Mega Man NG. I'm ready to show it off. And they've added Amiibo can be scanned in or a lobby. And some bugs have been fixed. No biggie. And you can choose between a male or a female. I go for this. You have like also 10 different faces that you can choose to have. Me, I go for this. Yeah, clean shave can be nice. No, wait, you can actually go age up to 100? Nah. I'm fitting my age, 35. And you also have your advanced settings, your face share, shape, the hairstyle. I'll stick with hairstyle one, hair color settings, eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth, facial hair. I'll stick with 13. There's also, you can also add makeup. And then your clothing, you have like four different. I like number three better. I'll stick with defaults, because default suits. You also have voice types, actions. Alright, able to. All settings confirmed. Yeah, but I already know the name that suits me. It's the same name I used when I start when I did this. Just destiny. My story, my destiny. No matter how you look at it. And we can also get our palamute. You can have it like in different kinds. Different colors too. I like number eight better. Huh? Let's check the clothing. Nah, it's good. Hmm, what name would best suit him? All right. Luminous. Luminous suits it best. And our preset Palico. I like the default because you're just too cute. What about the tail? Tail shape three.
And I'm naming this one after the one that matters to me. Besides, even now she is everything. And there are three files. All right. There you go. Now, I really am looking forward to seeing how this story unfolds. Although if you want to see me do more of Monster Hunter Rise, feel free to let me know. Dear, looks like we've been caught in the act, Minoto. Quite disappointing, Hinoa. I really don't see how anyone could have noticed us. It was a perfect display of stealth. That's why we expect great things of you. You're always razor sharp. Well then, I guess we still have a lot of training left to do. <sighs> what? You don't want us sneaking in? Oh, come on! This is Kimura! We're all practically family here. Besides, Elder Fugen is looking for you. So go get ready. Can't keep him waiting. Shall we go? Minoa, Minoto, thank you. I just got an important letter. It looks like we've got a rampage on our hands. Uh, so it's finally beginning. Hmm. It's been 50 years since the last calamity. But I remember, like it was yesterday. A huge pack of monsters in a giant stampede. They attack the village in a frenzied rage. Nobody knows why this happens, but it came close to wiping out our village last time. I think it's time. We paid a visit to the stronghold. We have to protect the village. There's nothing to worry about, Elder Fugen. All of us, everyone in Kimura, we've all been training for this moment for our entire lives. Hmm. Hinoa, we should start preparations right away. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Now that's what I like to hear. 
Now, Destiny, rampaging all inside, I've got news for you. Great job. Got a message from the guild this morning, says that you are now a certified hunter. Uh -huh. You're really living now, squirt. Well, I guess I shouldn't call you that now that you're certified, but I don't think it'll stop me. <laughs> Elder. Sorry to interrupt that, Ola Frugan. I've informed the village of the coming rampage like you asked. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. Congratulations. By the way, Destiny, I overheard the good news. You're finally an official hunter. Wow, congratulations. Uh -huh. All you need to do now is register with the guild so you can start accepting all those quests. To do that, you need to speak with Master Hojo in the gathering but first, hub. But that can wait. First, we go shopping. You'll be needing the help of other villagers if you want to succeed out in the field, so follow me. Let's start there. Now, where should we start? Aha, of course. The Marketeer of Mystery, Kagero the Merchant. Use the left analog to move your character around. Hold the R button to dash. These are your default control settings. That's simple enough. Welcome. Greetings, Master Destiny. I was just informed that you have been accepted into the guild. Felicitations. Here you will find restorative cures and other such items to aid you on your hunts. I often diversify my stock and provide special offers for hunters too. I think you'll find them most agreeable. Kagero sometimes offers items at half price, and that's when you can pick up some real bargains. I always hold off on buying what I want until the sale. And when it's on, I swoop in like a Rathian on the trail. I have often sensed Lady Hanoa's sharp gaze upon my back. Now I know why. Anyway, Kagira, about those items I asked you to set aside for me. Of course, I'll have them packaged and sent to your convenience. Next. Then that's a wrap. Let's see, where should we go next? Steadfast as steel. Master Ham and the blacksmith. It'd be nice to pay him a visit. You can use the R right analog to move the camera look around. Press L to reset the camera to its default position. What? Anoa? What is it? You can see I'm busy here preparing for the rampage. Now, now. Master Hammond. This time I've come to tell you the good news. Ah. Destiny has been accepted into the Hunter's Guild. Mm. The village now has a resident hunter we can all count on. Isn't that great? Yeah. Hmm. I see. Well then, Destiny, allow me to congratulate you. Hmm. The equipment we forge here is what makes a hunter in part that can make or break a hunt. It's what represents our village, too. A hunter who can't wield Tatara steel isn't fit to fly the banner of Kamura. You'll find whatever you need here. After crafting and refining gear, well, we can talk about that later. Oh, since we're here, that reminds me. You can hire buddies at the Buddy Plaza up ahead. And Master Hadman's grandson, Iori, manages the place. Why don't you go talk to him later? <laughs> Caping around with felines and canines makes me wonder where I went wrong. Really, I think buddy handling is quite a noble profession, personally. Uh -huh. Anyway, Master Hammond, I was wondering if my order was ready yet. It is. One of my apprentices will deliver it to you later. Okay, just one more stop and we're done. Let's see. Mm. Sweeter than sweet dango, it's gotta be Yoomogi the chef's tea shop. Uh -huh. The wire bud gauge is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Performing wire dashes or silk bind attacks will deplete the gauge. For more details, see wire bug action in the game's controls. Like that. And you notice on the bottom screen, it refills over time. Welcome. Oh, Destiny! Congrats. Hey, I heard the good news! You're a certified hunter now, recognized by the guild and everything! Congrats! Mm. Before you head out on a hunt, make sure you stop by and eat some bunny dango. Mm. You'll never taste anything yummier in your life, and they'll get your juices flowing for a hunt. Yomogi's buggy dango really are yummy. So yummy, in fact, I can't stop eating them on the job. Well, just thinking about them gets me all excited and... Ahem, Yomogi, the usual. Please and thank you. Of course, Hinoa. One super duper mega dango order coming right up. Thank you. Destiny, I had a great time on our shopping trip. Thanks for accompanying yeah. me. I have the things I ordered from Master Hammond and Kagero delivered to your item box. Surprise, it's just a little something for me to celebrate you becoming a hunter. Come back when you're done with your registration thingy, okay? Huh? What about the bunny dango? Yeah. Sorry, those are all mine. I share, but a girl's gotta eat. <laughs> hey, you should equip a weapon already. I want to see what you look like in your full hunter getup. What do you think? Great idea. How about you try on that longsword I just got you? A longsword? So cool. So cool. That gear really suits you, Destiny. You must feel a ton braver now, right? 
ride that high over to the gathering hub and get yourself registered as a hunter. Once you talk to Master Hojo and get registered, you can start going out on real life hunts as a real life hunter of Kamura. Exciting! I have to wait here for my order, so off you go. I'll be at my usual spot. Come see me when you're done. Come on. Why does I like using the long sword? I prefer not to. Now let's head for the Gathering Hub. Destiny, you sure took forever to get here. I thought it was gonna croak. You're probably well aware that I, Hojo, am the guild master of this exceptional gathering hub. Mm -hmm. What's that? Your guild registration? Oh yes, I was getting it, twit, twit, before you interrupted me. <laughs> Had you let me finish, I would have told you that we no longer do things that way. Get with it, with it, young hunter. Mm -hmm. No test to take or papers to stamp, just my okay and you're on your way. Ah. And with that, you're now officially a hunter, and not just any hunter, no, a hunter of Kamura Village. Accept the quest from our dearest Minoru and go hunt some monsters, Joho. About that, as much as I like to, I have to get this report about the rampage ready for the guild. I'm terribly sorry, but could you talk to Hanoa first so she can explain quest to you? Uh -huh. Yo, Ace! I just overheard the gnarly news. Awesome. Before you run off to see Hanoa, pop over here for a sec. <laughs> I gotta check you out in your new threads. You can store various hunting items and equipment in your item box. Make sure your items are in order and your equipment is off the snuff before make facing off against a fearsome monster. He has access to the Kimura Blade. He has access to 14 different weapons. Great sword, long sword, sword and shield, dual blades, lance, gun lance, hammer, Hunting Horn, Switch Axe, Charge Blade, Insect Glaive, Light Bow Gun, Heavy Bow Gun, and Bow. And I will be using this. Yup, the Insect Glaive. This is known as the Kamora Glaive 1. It's a Rarity 1 weapon. And it has these different, you have these different skills. Critical Eye, Divine Blessing, Heroics, Web, Wirebug, Whisperer, and Wall Runner. Yeah, that's basically your gear. Divine Blessing, Wirebug, Heroics, Critical Eye, Wall, and Wall Runner. That's that. Now your items. Here are your items currently. You have potions, antidotes, The files and raw meat. Hey there. there we go. Yo, Looking good, you. Ace. Grats on becoming a hunter. All that hard work finally paid off. I'm really happy for you. Oh, and before I forget, I gotta tell you about the action bar. <laughs> the action bar lets you pull off all sorts of actions without opening any menus. Pretty gnarly if you mm. ask me. Let's try it out. Select the camera from the action bar and snap a picture. Mm. Once you take my picture, let me see it. Pictures can be taken by using the camera from the action bar or custom radio menu. Swap photos will be saved in both the album, album in the hunter's notes and the album on the home menu. Pictures focused on a monster or endemic life are automatically classified in the album. Pressing the left analog while aiming with the camera lets you switch between two perspectives, character and kohutfu. The picture will be take character view lets you take a picture from your view. Recommended for making the subject bigger or framing a more creative composition. Kohut view, you can have your pet take pictures of you. Pose sets and gestures can also be selected. And during multiplayer, they will be visible to other players, giving you a general idea of the bit of the camera's position and viewable area. Okay. No.
And we got the photo. All right, now let's show him. I've been waiting for you. Oh yeah, that's one handsome devil, Joe. <laughs> now that you've gotten acquainted with the action bar, I think it's quest time. Sure thing. But if you're still not confident in your abilities, you can hit up the training area to sharpen them up. <laughs> it's just a short boat ride from the Buddy Plaza where Yori always furry friends hang out. <laughs> you can try your hand at all sorts of weapons and snails there. It's a great place to wallow before Big mm -hmm. Hunt. All right, I'll quit holding you up. I know it's still waiting for you, isn't she? Hunter info in the start menu provides tutorials, hints, basic info, and other valuable things. Information added as the game progresses will be displayed in the tutorial window in the chat log. Hunter's info and Hunter's notes found in the start menu find a, contain a variety of info, info such as instruction manual, outlining basic game info, monster characteristics, controls, and weapon use. That's going to help us out. Not Minoto, but where's Minoa? Where are you, Hanoa? Hey, listen! I'm the Rider Palamute. Oh, hello. Oh, Destiny. Already completed your hunter registration. Great. I retrieved your Kuhut from your Elder Fungan earlier. It's so cute, you're gonna love it. Kohoots like buddies will help you out during quests, but in their own little way. Kohoots are creatures that are beloved through Kamara. The village other gave you a Kohoot to look after as a pet. If you call your Kohoot from your action bar, it'll come and perch on your arm. If a symbol pops up when you have it in your arm, push it to have it take flight. Maybe something will happen, but this feature is unavailable in multiplayer. The pet menu can be opened while it's perched on your arm. There you can swap out outfits and feed your feather friend. If you feed your Kohoot, they will greet you once you return from your quest. Well, how about you give your new feathery friend a name? Let's do this thing. Brave. Braver. Anyway, since my sister's swamp in the moment, I'll go ahead and give you the quest rundown sure. instead. Now you're a hunter, you'll be in charge of completing the quest that me and Minoto have in our quest list. Some of these quests called key quests have been specifically posted by the Hunter's Guild. So if you make a point of completing key quests, the Hunter's Guild will take note. Oh, and one last thing. Here, take this petal lace Minoto and I made. As you may be aware, petal laces are protection charms woven from a local plant called the Sending Spray. Pollen carried by spirit birds will enhance your petal lace, strengthening your abilities. Treat it with care. A petalis is a type of charm bracelet made by woven of woven sending sprigs. In Kamara Village, they are typically worn by hunters. Like any other piece of gear, you can only equip one at a time. Petalises absorb the fragrant pollen from any spirit birds you encounter during a quest, granting you special status boosts. You can switch out your petalis from the items box manage equipment menu. Try out different types to see which one best suits your style. Seek out spirit birds to maximize their effects. Also, petal aces can be switched out from your tent's item box. Oh, I think Minoto should be wrapping up a report right about now. And I need to get back to work myself. Once you're ready, you can start taking quests from either of us. Hold on, you can't go prancing off before my introduction. That's the name, yeah, wow. And grand time by coming a hunter. If you ever find yourself taking a hub quest, then I send me the mailman of quite the important info for you. You'll need to go through me to meet up with fellow hunters. Make sure to stop by. <laughs> Well, I think that's about wraps everything up. Time to start monster hunting. Nice, we get downloaded add-on content. Bunny Dongo are a taste of heaven. A quest just came in. Hmm? I see. When you are, just head through the quest gate to begin. Now let's dive into the quest. Sure to check the special quest Talk to one well. of the twins in either the village or gathering hub to accept the quest. To join hub quest posted by the hunters, use the quest board. Once you accept it, you can either press R or accept another quest to cancel your current one. When accepting a hub quest, select accept via join request to allow hunters and other odd lobbies 
to join your quest while in progress. This is disabled for village quests and during local play. Press ZR after accepting a quest or A at a quest gated apart. If you're hunting in a party, make sure everyone is prepped before sending off. Optional subquests are side quests available from both quest counters and can be completed a number of times. You may accept up to five at once and you can claim your rewards from either of the quest mages. Forfeiting a subquest erases your progress. You have like five different quests. Let's gather these. These. Alright, now comes the optional quest. The first one, back to basics. Very nice. Don't forget to eat. Now we gotta talk to Minoto, the hub mate. But I'd rather eat first before then. I don't talk to Minoto the hub maiden before I depart. Oh, hello. I've been waiting for you. As you could have guessed, all gathering hub quests go through me. Please be aware these quests are meant for a party of hunters. Quests will be rated at 1 star, 2 star, and so on. Think of a number of stars as the level of difficulty. 1 to 3 quests are classified as low rank. 4 to 7 are high rank. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure in no time you'll be taking on high rank quests. At least that's what Tanoa says. Here at the hub, your Hunter Rank or HR for Sword determines what quest you're able to accept. A Hunter Rank of HR 1 will allow you to accept one star quest. To let you accept two, you get the idea. As for increasing your rank, well, I'll get into that later. For now, concentrate on what's in front of you. Oh, when you want to participate in a quest with other Hunters, you can check available quests and their details from the quest board. Once you've accepted a quest, head to the quest gate to embark. Now, I mentioned earlier that gathering up quests are for a party of Hunters, meaning four Hunters. However, if you're confident in your abilities, you may attempt them on your own as well. Feel free to use the prep area on the second floor. Preparation is half the battle. That should be everything. Should. I'll check with Hanoa later to see if I forget anything. And anyway, you'll be starting with one star quest. Good hub. luck. As you complete quests from the village and gathering hub, the Hunter's Guild will permit you to take on more quests. A quest difficulty is indicated by star icons. The more stars, the harder it is. Upon completing a certain number of key quests, which are carefully selected, you'll be able to take on urgent quests. Completing urgent quests will allow you to not lop the next level. You'll find that some villagers have specific requests or specific quests they'd like you to complete. So talk to anyone you see with a yellow speech bubble. Anything they ask of you will be listed in the quest in the village or gathering up. There are special quests in which you can learn hunting fundamentals and techniques such as wyvern ride. They can be accepted from the village quest counter at any time. Which quest would you like? Huh? I want to at least get started already. Alright, time to depart on our journey. These halls of worship, once so bustling, now home to monsters, stalking and rustling. Hunters beware, not wait, but despair. I really don't need you to tell me that. Yo, Ace, what's up? Accepting my quest, huh? Nice! Come over here and we'll get started. Welcome. I've been waiting Congrats for again you. on making Hunter. A whole new life awaits. Mm. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes that you're ready to thrash, but let's do a little quest refresher mm. first. Let's start with our camp here. <laughs> this is your tent. Here you can change your equipment and weapons or organize your items. Uh -huh. If you want to bail on your current loadout, you're free to switch out your gear inside. That over there is a supply box. It's full of useful items that'll aid you during a quest. Mm. 
And everything in there is provided by the guild, so feel free to take and use whatever you want. And that's it for the camp. Let's move on to the next part. I'll meet you down by the river past the ledge. If you get lost, just look for my icon on the map. Make sure your inventory is in order before leaving for a hut. The tent manages your items with the item box, change equipment, and switch skills, while the supply box provides hunting items. That's pretty fair. View the map on the bottom left to change, check the location of things in the area. Triangle indicates player current locations, while tent symbols are camps, monsters, buddies, traps, and place items, while well several tales are displayed too. Quest objectives are also renowned during special quests. Sorry. Press L to zoom in on the map and view endemic life gathering points and other icon categories displayed in the detailed map. You can view a detailed map from the start menu. It displays the precise location of endemic light and gathering points and allows you to show or hide items based on a category. You can also tile the display level of the map. Press X to open the icon list and in addition to reviewing what the icon is on the map, meaning you can highlight it and press A to make only it show on the map. This will help you out a lot. And the Hunter's Guild will sometimes provide helpful items to your supply box. Don't forget to split these with your allies if you're hunting a party. You can not take supply items back with you to the village. By pressing A, you can harvest nearby plants, nugs, bu nuts, bugs, mushrooms, bones, honey, and spiderwebs. Pressing A near mining outcrops will allow you to mine them too. Thing is, I don't mind these tutorials. Great. Well, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I love this. Sup, base? Hey, up here. Alright, let's talk wire bugs. These bodacious bugs are a must in any hunt. Use them right and you'll be able to zip around pretty much anywhere you want to go. Even on top of his bowl. <laughs> Give it a shot! A variety of actions can be performed using the extraordinary creature that is the wire bug. You can use the wire dash to perform rapid aerial maneuvers, whip out weapon specific gambits with silk bind, or regain composure with wirefall. An exhausted wire bug gauge will recover over time and can then be used. The degree of consumption and time needed to recover vary. Capturing a wild one will increase the gauge by one. A technique commonly used by Kimura hunters is the weight wire dash. While holding ZL, press X to move vertically, A to move forward, or press ZR to move where you're aiming. Wire dashes can be sequenced or can initiate wall running. Each weapon has its own unique silk bind action. These cannot be used with your weapon sheeted. You need to draw your weapon, hold ZL or R, and then press X or A. Each weapon type has its own skill, so experimentation is required. Holy moly! I'm gonna have a field day with this! And yeah, some of them revine over time. Nice. If it isn't hey, look at that. You're a natural. Next, let's talk buddies. <laughs> Today, I brought my Palico and Palamute, Flash, and Rumble with me. They'll be lending you a paw for this part of the training. Mm. First, try mounting Rumble my Palamute. Palamutes are swift as the wind, so if a monster gives you the slip, hop on your barking right. buddy. All right, I'll be waiting for you up the trail. Meet me there. When accompanied by the Palamute, you'll have access to the Let Me Ride command, allowing you for rapid transport within a locale. There are two ways. Hold down the A button near a Palamut or issue the Let Me Ride command from the action bar. Wilding controls are simple. L to move, R to dash forward, ZR to jump, ZL to use left to drift, X to attack, B to dismount, or B to perform a jumping dismount while you're dashing. Recovery items, whetstones, and some other items can be used while riding it. While riding, select a usable item from the item bar and press Y to use it. Give it a try. Listen up! Simple enough.
Hey, check out this yellow spirit bird. If you touch one, its pollen will enhance that good luck charm you're wearing, your paddle ace. When that happens, the scent of the pollen surrounds your paddle ace and boosts your stats. Since this little guy's yellow, it'll increase your stamina. Similarly, spirit birds of other colors will boost other stats. Pretty gnarly if you ask me. <laughs> the effect is only active during the current quest, but you can be sure as shurikens that they're worth mm. using. Oh, that's a cloth fly. Cloth flies are one of many creatures you'll come across on the field. We call these little guys endemic life. Uh -huh. The powder these floaty friends spread can boost your defense. There's lots of other endemic life out there that can boost your hunts in different ways. Have a look around for other endemic life and then play around with them to see what kinds of effects they have. Okay, just a little bit more. Follow me. Endemic life refers broadly to all small life forms. Some can be used like items, while others provide lasting buffs. These include perma buffers and hunting helpers. As some of these life forms are rather rare, they're worth seeking out. Yep, that boosts your defense. That's a flash fly, which gives blind. Up, right on, Ace. Got the hang of running Palamutes already? Huh. They're super helpful. Buddies, especially when you need to cover a lot of ground. Sure thing. And you can even tell them to attack while you're riding them. But their attacks won't be as strong as yours. So when you're ready to get down to business, it's best to dismount. Uh -huh. Oh, looks like we got ourselves some monsters nearby. Uh -huh. How are your health and stamina looking? Be sure to keep tabs on your status while on the field. When you're ready, let's head up this way. It's time to really get this show on the road. The green bar is your health. Run out of health and you'll fade, and when you fade, you'll be taken back. Yellow is your stamina gauge, which strains your when you perform various actions. It refills over time, but the life may shrink over time. Consume food or rations to replenish it. Coming into contact with a spirit bird during a quest will increase your max health and stamina. The amount by which they increase is very based on the petal ace you have equipped. If it isn't Gnarly, a pack of Isuchi. All right, there's three of them. Go take them out. Don't hold back just because they're small now. They can be skillful and ruthless. Just remember your training and you'll be golden. Now ready your weapon nice and steady and take them down one attack at a time. Excellent. Nicely done. That did it. Yo, my favorite Sweet, kid. awesome job there, Ace. Oh, and don't forget to carve the harvest materials from monsters. They can be used for upgrades of the smithy. When you're done carving, come see me. Where are they? There they are. Let's see. We get an Izuchi tail. Izuchi mm. tail, a sharp claw. There it is. Here we go. Good job. And I really don't want to run out of stamina. I've been waiting for Just you. as I expected from my star pupil. That was an incredible yeah. hunt. If there's something you think you could have done better, don't worry. After all, you're just getting started. <laughs> now, man, let's head back to camp. And it looks like we're kind of far away from mm -hmm. it. But no big deal. Yo, use fast travel. You'll be back at camp right. in no time. I'm going to go ahead. See you there. Where's the map? All right. Good. Sunbase. Congrats. You completed this basic training quest. I'm now proud to send you out in the field as a full-fledged hunter. Yeah. You've learned well, but keep in mind, Elder Fugan and I expect much mm. from you. If you ever feel like going over your basic training again, all you need to do is set the quest from Hanoa. I'd be happy to guide you through it again. Victory! Yeah. 
Our first quest is done. Very nice. Well, Destiny, I see you Susie's little quest was no mess for you. <laughs> I expect nothing less. What you learned today is the very essence of hunting. Whenever the hunt takes you, those lessons will always hold true. Uh -huh. Now I know I should have some one-star quest ready for you. We'll get to it in Happy Hunt. <laughs> Need to talk to Hanoa. Oh, hello. Hey, and welcome back. How'd everything go in Master Sushi's quest? Mm. I know, I know. The basics are well basic, but you gotta have a sturdy foundation before you can build, right? Take Bunny Dangle, for example. Yomogi puts as much effort into selecting ingredients as she does preparing them. <laughs> anyway, I know you're not here to talk dangle, you're here to talk quest, and lucky for you, I've got some yep. quests ready to go. You know, questing is kind of like climbing a mountain. Keep completing them, and before you know it, you'll be at the top. And just like a mountain, there's more than one way to the top. Pick the quest right for you and forge your own path, but you're gonna stay right here and listen to me blabber about Bunny Dangle. You don't hurry up and pick a quest. Bunny Dango are a taste of heaven. There's actually Have training quests too. Learn the riot and the basics of capturing monsters. Let's start with the first one. Let's take it nice and slow. Good luck. No. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Let's get started. Upon initially visiting a new location, your map for that area will be obscured by fog. The fog will be dispelled as you explore the locale. Unknown monsters or monsters you never hunted before are indicated with a generic icon. But once you come into contact with them, they're replaced by a monster's unique icon and your cohort will mark it for you on your map. From that point on, the unique icon will be deployed from your map Listen at the up. start of a quest. Nice, I already know about the crafting list. Good. Need to get around faster. Good, we got a trap bug. That tastes here at the optional one. subquest. What's this? Great. Nice, we got some twisted remains and a monster bone. Now let's check under. Golden spirit bug.
That's one slain. I see, these stink minks are a type of pheromone capable of attracting monsters. Listen up! We still gotta find more. That's better. Let's see. This is a bit too basic, if you ask me. Already a five out of eight. Gotcha. Not getting much luck. Nice. Let's see. While on the field, you'll come across shrubs of plant called sending spread. Attack these bushes to cut them down and reveal any spirit birds are inside. Let's see if we can reveal more of the area. Going? Going? So that's how it works.
Looks like the rest of them are just came back in Area 8. Whetstone time. At least the whetstones are infinite. Guess they learned their lesson from Monster Hunter World. That's it. Altaroth material. Mm. That should do it. takes care of it. West complete. If you got a lot of good stuff. Very good. You leveled up. Looks like we have our work cut out for us, don't we? It's a good day for a hunt. Yes, it is. Which quest would you like? These are quests where you're free to explore within a time limit. Fading won't cause you to fail them, but a great opportunity to gather materials or take photos. Really? Let's take care of this one. Don't forget UPS to eat. Payons. And I think that'll probably do it for this showcase. I know I want to show off the big monsters, but I only have an hour. Let's get this started. Where's the two? Here we go. I need one and two in order for my in order for it to work. Now I gotta take on Jagras. Let's ignore them for now. Good. Good gathering bones. Are, but 
That's the three. I need a two so I can actually pull off the crazy stuff. Why can't I? Ay, ay, ay. Here we go. Let's see. Performing a wire dash will face a wall will initiate a wall run using the left analog to maneuver. During a wall run, hold down the R run to continue running. You can also wall run while climbing Ivy. Got the two. Yep, just like, just like it should be. But it's better if you have more stamina. Because with how you are right now, there is absolutely no way you're going to do this. Still. This is going to be useful when battling against giant monsters. I think a friend for getting me into this idea of using the inset button. That to me is satisfying enough. At least is simple enough, don't you think? All right. Just 
gotta do gather bone piles, large monster hunting, and broken parts. Have a look. There's one more. But honestly, I'll be here if you need I've covered just about an hour, and I will say this. There's a lot you can do. Hmm. Come to me if you need new gear. And we also get get a lot of goodies. Yep, it's something like this that's gonna take me a while. Oh nice, you get add-on content. There's two ways to play multiplayer. Make use of online or join requests. You can also use multiple Nintendo Switch consoles and play a local game or have an internet connection to play online. I get you. I already know all about lobby since I have a lot of experience playing this. Very good. Good. Gotten all the goods. So basically, that's all there is to it. I don't want to show off any more than it should, but I will say that Monster Hunter Rise, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. As someone who has played Monster Hunter for years, I wanted to show more, but I only have an hour. If you'd like to see another video of this, feel free to let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. If you enjoy it, please hit the like button. It means a lot. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. I'll see you guys next time. This is Mayman NG signing off. Peace out.